Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, today we're back working on our metal planer restoration and I've got a little bit of work to do today. We've got two shafts here with gears and Babbitt bearings and all that stuff that are ready to mount back up underneath the bottom. And when I get these two shafts on and the pulleys on this outside shaft, we should have the drive train pretty much finished down here. There's four different shafts that come in here, starting with uh, this shaft here that has the, the drive pulleys on it. And it's basically just doing gear reduction. So we're going from a small gear to a big gear, small gear to a big gear, small gear to a big gear, so on and so on, to get to the big gear that finally drives the, um, the, the table back and forth. So we're just basically reducing the speed of our input shaft down to the speed that we're operating the machine. And through that gear reduction, we're also picking up some extra power through mechanical advantage. So let me kind of show you what we got here and we'll get started putting these together. So kind of working backwards on the gearing here, this big bull gear is what drives the planer top back and forth. There's a rack up under the bottom of the table that engages this, and it goes in both directions back and forth. You can see it's a big gear, it's driven by a smaller gear. On this same shaft, we have a larger gear. What we're gonna be putting in next is this uh, intermediate shaft. And again, we're going from the smaller gear to a larger gear. That one will, this gear here will engage this one. This gear here will engage the smaller spur gear on the, the main dr drive shaft back here. So kind of see the drive train. And again, we're just going small gear to a big gear. So you're reducing the speed of this shaft and increasing its power. This one goes from a small gear to a big gear. Again, reducing the speed, small gear to a really big gear. So uh, all this right here, I could do the math to figure out the, uh, the ratios, but bottom line is we're slowing that speed down considerably uh, going through all these uh, iterations. So first step, let's get this uh, shaft right here mounted up under the bottom. Uh, what I'm gonna do is come in here, we'll take the gantry crane, put a uh, line down to it. We can pull that shaft up and uh, there's four bolts on each side, bolts up underneath the bottom. So let's get that going. Time to crawl around on the floor a little bit. I've got my shaft hanging here and we're gonna go ahead and start lifting that up with the gantry. It's kind of off balance. I'm gonna have to probably get up underneath here and hold it up. Uh, as I raise it up. Uh, we'll turn this bearing over as we start to get close. Get a uh, bolt here, and I just want to get it kind of hanging in there right now. All right, same thing over here. Now, tell you what, I think I will go ahead and uh, just put a, another bolt on the front here just to kind of hang in there. These will kind of serve as guides as I pull it up tight. I'm looking to make sure my gear is meshed right here. And it is, so uh, I think now I can just uh, raise that shaft on up. All right, we're all the way up and we can go ahead and tighten the bolts up. Before I do, I wanna put some anti-seize on these bolts. I'll take the ones I put in there temporarily out, but uh, we'll get these kind of started and then zip them up in there. <laughs> this anti-seize does a couple of things. It serves as a lubricant as I'm tightening the bolts up, but it'll also kind of keep any rust and so forth from 
developing in those threads. So the next guy who comes in here and takes this thing apart sometime down the road, hopefully won't have a lot of trouble with it. I'm just gonna use my gun here. To snug those up in there. We'll go ahead and take this one out now. We'll put any C's on it. get all these bolts in. shaft installed. We'll reduce our tension on that shaft. And look at there. Our drivetrain is working. That's good news. Let's get our next shaft in here and we'll have her done. Time for the last shaft here. Got my hoist in there again. And uh, we're going up. I'll tell you what, I'm going to reposition that strap. It's not going up evenly. Slide it more toward the center. I think that's going to be pretty balanced, balanced enough. All right. I'm getting real close here. I'll just comment that um, I like to put this packing material or wicking material down in these bearings. And I forgot to do that in the, the last shaft. Off camera, I went in and removed those and oiled them up real good. I uh, just wanted to let you know I did that. I was actually kind of frustrated I had to do that. but. Uh, We'll get it done. So we got oil in that bearing. Let me go ahead and get a bolt in here just to kind of guide it again. All right, that's got that side. I'm gonna put my wicking in the other side and get it started too. Also got this shifting bar that goes on top of this. It has some dogs that catch the uh, that little gear that slides back and forth on this. This fits on the top of the bearings and they kind of rock back and forth. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, probably remove the strap out of the middle because it's in the way. Get this in there and I'll probably put the strap back on and, and pull it back up. So um, let me do that real quick. Uh, I've got it hanging by the bolts right now just uh, loosely in there. I'm going to take my strap off. Get my uh, bar in here. I'm 
I'm going to just reach up in here and put some anti seize on these bolts. I just got a thread or two started on them. I got them all started now because I had to do that to get the uh, bar to align. I think we got it. I can slide that, no problem. Now for the moment of truth here, guys, we're gonna put our, one of our drive shafts on here, drive pulleys. This is a keyed pulley. You get it lined up on the keyway and it is up on there. That'll give me some leverage and yep. The drivetrain is rolling along just like it's supposed to. And uh, you can see we're driving on this drive shaft, which goes from a small pulley to this larger pulley, small pulley to a larger pulley, small pulley to a larger pulley. You can also see down here this shifting mechanism. So uh, when you slide this uh, in, it disengages the, the drive gear. So now when I turn the shaft, I'm turning the shaft, but it's not turning the gear. You pull this back in, it engages that gear and it goes. So that's basically your on off switch right here. There's a lever over here on the side that I'll have to pick up later. I don't have all the linkage where I can get it going right now. I got to put some other parts on, but that's how you turn the machine on and off. So it looks like we've got success in our drivetrain. Good job. So now to get our pulleys put on good, like I previously showed on this one, this shaft is keyed and we've got a uh, set screw in here to tighten it down on the shaft. It's uh, already up on the keyway. So let me get this one tightened down. Okay, that's nice and tight. The uh, next pulley here, this one is a loose pulley and it's just basically rotating on the shaft. So there's just a bearing in there. It's just a uh, bronze bearing and that one rotates loose. The way this works is when the machine's in operation, you have a belt that's on this loose pulley, it's just spinning, there's a shifter and depending on whether it's forward or reverse, there's pulleys on both sides, one for forward and one for reverse. The belts have a half twist going up to the counter shaft. But whenever the belt goes over to the tight pulley, it'll turn the shaft. When you slide the belt back over here, the belt's just spinning on the shaft, or the pulley's just spinning on the shaft. So we've got a uh, collar that goes up on the end that just stops that on there and uh, keeps that pulley from coming off. So we'll go ahead and tighten that one up. This uh, loose pulley, there's an oil hole right there where you can uh, put a dropper to an oil down it periodically to keep it lubricated. Let's get our um, pulleys on the other side. Same drill over here, two pulleys. First thing we gotta do is put our key in and I've got a lead hammer here to tap that in place. We got a set screw in there now and a little bit tight. I'm just gonna bump it up on here with my lead hammer. Put the shoulder, put the shoulder back there that goes to, we're on it now and we will tighten this shaft up. Now, if you notice, the pulleys are different sizes and it's made for, again, the forward and reverse. Uh, the larger pulley will go have a sl uh, sl slower speed with the counter shaft running at the same RPM than the smaller pulley. So that's for the reverse stroke. This is for the forward stroke and that basically makes the reverse stroke come back faster so you don't lose as much time. All right. All right, here's our stop collar. 
and again that just uh, keeps that pulley from coming off the end and we'll tighten that up on there. There we go. It's tightening up now. I need to be just a little bit looser. There we go. All right, I think we got our pulleys installed. Making good progress here on the metal planer restoration. We got the powertrain all in there now. Our pulleys are installed on both sides. Got all of our gears and stuff meshed up where we have the gear reduction going on. You can kind of see what she's looking like. So. Uh, Looking really good. Probably uh, next step here is to work on the belt shifting mechanism that goes in there. And there's a couple other little linkages and so forth kind of down in the center section that we need to get put in before we get the table put on here and start working on scraping it. Also, I've got to uh, get this machine leveled up and uh, I'm just going to give a little spoiler alert. We are going to be doing something a little bit different on the leveling feet. Uh, I've got to play in there and uh, that's going to be probably another video or two getting those installed and getting the machine leveled up. So, uh, and then we can hopefully start getting the bed and table scraped into one another. And once that's done, we'll put the uprights on there and get all that part working again. Making progress so one piece at a time, one more bite out of the elephant. Well, happy with how things are turning out here. We are making progress. Everything is going real good. It is a slow process, but we are slowly getting there uh, one piece at a time. And with that, that's going to be a wrap on this episode. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and comments and thumbs up are always appreciated as well. We'll catch you on the next video.